Hey guys, I'm Will from Tustin. I'm Norm from Tustin. Norm, virtual reality is a craze that is sweeping America today. It, even hobos can do it. Even, wait, we're not it, supposed to call them hobos. Well, the, the, the transient. People, the cardboard dwellers. Car, yeah, yeah, cardboard dwellers. Because right. now VR is opened up to cardboarders. Assuming you have a $500 smartphone. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, this was uh, given out at I.O., and we have one. Uh, our friend Matt Braga acquired it. Thanks, Braga. He's, he's, he's our favorite Canadian. And it's Google Cardboard. You it, might have heard about this. Yeah. Um, and it's so funny because uh, Samsung was rumored to be doing a, a VR style phone compatible frame that would be a real product, and now Google has turned into a joke. This is the joke of I.O. Do you think it's a joke? Well, we don't I, know. We're about to build it and figure it out. Yeah. So uh, join us as we assemble Google Cardboard and experience Google's vision for low-cost virtual reality. I don't, I'm a little skeptical. Uh, it's open, um, but I, we haven't assembled it yet. Yeah. So this is what they gave out to uh, attendees at I.O. Uh, it's this package here. Yep. And there are actually instructions on their website. I believe it's, what is it? G.co forward slash cardboard. There's, there's right not here. There's not really instructions. It just says, here's what you need, and then put it together. Oh, wait, here are your cardboard design files. Okay, I've got a zip file. I'm downloading it. I'm okay. opening it. Uh, if you look here, uh, it says, don't get this wet, and there are magnets inside. I'm not sure what that warning logo is. Do you is. have glue? Uh, I do not have glue. Do we need glue? glue it says glue we required? need glue. Oh, boy. Well, let's open this up. This is what it's supposed to look like, this picture right here. So when it's assembled... Um, the phone will fit in there, and it will be some type of virtual reality display. We have some Elmer's glue here, don't we? I'm sure we do. Uh, an experimental sample for temporary use contains magnets that may affect pacemakers. There are actually CAD designs for people to uh, cut their own cardboard out. Yeah, I have that right here. Uh, Dodo Case has, um, has, is selling their own kits for $20. 20 bucks, right? Um, and it should be similar. So I'm going to fold this all this out. This looks like something you could make on a laser cutter in about five minutes, except oh, for the yeah. lenses. Okay, so yeah, there are lenses here, 40 millimeter lenses. All right, start here. To assemble, insert the numbered tabs into their corresponding slots. Tabs oh. into slots. I was gluing the, uh, this is the template, if you want to make your own. Right, so this should be easy to self-assemble. It oh should, it, you know, self-assembly to me says that it's magnets and you throw it down on the ground, you hit a button, and then it builds itself from the ground up. Oh, boy. I don't think we need glue after all, Joey. Okay, so detach here. Oh, I'm supposed to detach it. Okay. Oh, so once here. you do this, there's that's no going it, back. That's it. Detach here. Got it? Am I doing it? Yeah, do you have scissors, or are you just going to tear? It's, it's perforated. This is, this is like a little maker kit. Don't, don't, don't fuck it up. We only get one shot we at this. We only get one shot at this. So it's a piece there of it cardboard. Okay. This is, is what this I a, want it to be. This, is this a Google X project? I think it's, it's not a, like a their moonshots project. It is a Google 10% or whatever, 15% time project. Hmm. My phone here. So okay. there it goes. Now you can see what it's supposed to be okay. right here and, and what I want what it, it to is. be. Okay. I don't, I don't, I got a bad feeling about this, Norm. I don't want to break it. No, don't break it. Um, start here. So now you should be on step two. Um, uh, nobody on. can see what you're working on. Hold on. Oh, boy. There's a magnet and a washer, which are, that's the washer. That's the magnet. You don't have a pacemaker, do you? I do not have a pacemaker. Thank goodness. Wow. And where else is this bent? Oh, this there. is bent here. Okay. Oh, okay. Come together. This looks a lot easier than I was led to believe virtual reality was going to be. Those Oculus guys have been spending millions of dollars in multiple years. You know, the Oculus guys hired the design firm designed the Xbox controller. Uh, uh, the peop they also are the people that made the original Xbox controller? I the believe Duke? it was the original Xbox controller. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What am I doing here? This is a I rubber band. Okay. They give you a rubber band. Um, oh, I man. see. This Just put the slots into the paper. You're supposed to peel that stuff off, and then you no, it goes on the inside, I think. All right. See, there's a tab, and oh. there's sticky stuff on the inside. Look, fl flip up the piece with the hole. Okay. See the uh -huh. yeah, okay. So that goes on the outside of the magnet piece. See stick. where it says stick. Stick. So you put that tab in the hole and then fold the other that one. That might over. be jumping too far. To assemble, insert the numbered tabs into their corresponding slots. Oh, this is this is. Oh wait wait wait. See see one and one. How does that get to that? Here. Okay. One to one. I would have it's to... going to fold over. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly. 
Exactly like that. There it goes. That's true. Yep. Oh, yeah. There, okay. oh, oh, we've we've broken the Cracked Da Vinci code. code. Da Vinci Code is cracked. Does that mean I have to get a weird haircut? Um, did Tom Hanks have a weird haircut? Tom Hanks had a super duper weird haircut. I I think that that's where your forehead goes. Okay. I think you need to fold that whole thing up. Oh boy. Like no, this. Other way. Like this. Other up. There you go. And then see those slots go in at the top. Okay. Two and two. Yeah. Got it. So you just have to put the numbers with the other numbers. Ah. Which was step one. Yeah. Okay. And now three, fold three, the magnet one down. Okay, three and three. Yeah. Okay. It goes. And then the sticky part, which is good that we We should have made you that. do this blindfold and I just tell you what to do. Move your left hand three inches to the left. Okay. Did you undo the sticky part? Once now, you do that, you can no, never go back. Four and four. I've got okay. four and four. Oh boy. And. Oh! I'm Casey Kasem. Oh, Casey Kasem died. Oh, that's too soon. Okay, you got to take off that that sticky Okay. Bag. Yep. Okay. Yep. But this is looking good. It's almost it like looks, we know what we're doing. It looks really sturdy too. Oh yeah. It's fantastic. I feel like I could live inside this stuff. All right. Here we go. It's permanent now. There's no turning back. You can build this VR okay. headset together. All right. Okay. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I, I, I put so, my eyes in here. Yeah. Now you put my your nose phone. in here. How do I change my IPD? Uh, I don't think it supports that in version oh. one point oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I have my phone, which is right here. Okay. And I presume I put it right here because it's the hole for the camera. Yeah, you're gonna put it's it a up. hole for the camera. Yeah. This yeah. is a lot like a, what are those things called? Stereograms? Do you uh, remember those? Stereo mass, stereo master. No, no, no. That's a, a viewmaster. Master. View master. I'm talking about the ones that predate that. That are, it's like a thing with a with two pictures on it, and you hold the thing up to your eyes and you move it back. It's from the Victorian times. Now, why do I need the rubber band? Because it holds the whole thing closed. Whole thing closed? Holds your phone in place. The Velcro, Velcro, Velcro holds the whole thing closed. What's the rubber, uh, the rubber band, band holds the phone in from sliding out of the sides. Oh, so it's, it's like a friction. I don't think ah, that's. So the phone, okay, the, like that? May I, okay. I'm not going to move a rubber band, regardless. Uh, I'm going to run the app. So uh, there's an app that you can download on the Google Play Store. You're saying there's an app it's for called that? called Cardboard. Okay. I'm going to launch that hey, right now. It looks like your thing. And has an animation, which we'll play real quick. I mean, they made it look so easy. Look, it, it, it's self-assembling. Wow, Ghost assembled this. Put phone in, and that's it. Bam, and we ride there. Okay, I'm, All right. face goes in here. I think you have okay. to tap something to keep it from doing this over and over again. There it goes, okay. I want to see some virtual right. reality norms. So Does this work with right glasses? Now, uh, better. So I'm, I'm telling you, because uh, what, what happens is there's Google Earth right here. Uh -huh. There's YouTube. Yeah. And this is accelerometer or gyro base. So okay. as I turn, I'm looking around through we're, the menus. We're seeing both eyes right now because it thinks you yes. have the cardboard on. So photosphere. How do you make it? And can you street tap view. with your eyeball? Um, that's a very good point. Tutorial, tour guide, exhibit, uh, tour, windy tour, day. Tour guide seems like a good place to All start. Right, so I'm going to put this in. Okay. And made for Nexus 5. There it goes. And this is my virtual reality machine now. Maybe you're camera. supposed to put the strap right on there. your back, on the over your head. The rubber band. Uh, what's the magnet for? Uh, you know, that's a washer. All right, so I'm gonna put Maybe this on. Maybe the magnet just holds the washer. And I'm gonna describe what's going on. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Am I ready to embrace the Google virtual world? This is gonna be the best video we've ever made. Oh, it totally works. My glasses don't fit. Well, my glasses don't they fit. It said that there's a notch that you can cut out to oh accommodate your my glasses. glasses. Are too big. Fuck the glasses. Language norm. Okay, now everything looks blurry now, I bet. No, it's all right. It's, uh, first of all, it's stereoscopic 3D. Okay. So the icons that were popping out are now actually popping out at me. Okay. Maybe the magnet is how I activate. How would you activate the magnet? How, so how, how do I access this? It looks really good uh, because the Nexus 5 is a 1080p, 1080p screen. Um, it's actually a really good demo. I mean, in terms of the, the stereoscopic. What are you seeing? Paint a word picture. Well, I'm still at the menu. I need to access the menu. I need to somehow tap in. How do I tap in? Oh, now? when you insert your phone into cardboard, it's supposed to just launch the app if it supports NFC, which is the Nexus 5 should. Okay. Now, how do I actually go move forward and access, like, the tour guide? Is there, is there I, like, um, spin the magnet? Do I tap the camera? The magnet is used for clicking inside of demos. When you pull and release the ring, your phone's magnetometer detects changes in the magnetic field. Okay. What's Chrome experience. Parents oh. don't use the magnet. Oh, fantastic. 
This is fantastic. Did you just okay. click? Yes, I just launched. Okay, so it's loading. So if you can see here, yeah, this magnet, uh -huh. it's actually a button. Oh, this is wonderful design. I'm gonna pull this down, okay, and it and pops back up, and that's how. That's enough to trigger the magnet. Yes. The, the, oh, oh, this is brilliant. Pull and release the ring to click. Tilt to get home. You know, you can, it says you can turn a pizza box into a cardboard. So if I want to go home, I just go, and now I'm oh, I'm home. Okay, cool. I think you're at work, actually. Wow. Uh, I'm going to launch, uh, for example, uh, Photosphere. I launched it. Okay. And so here's an example of a photo. And it's a photo. It's pulled from my uh, Nexus library. Can you go into our office in the Google Street View? Oh, that would be cool. So and this is, it's right now showing me a photo that's stored on the Nexus phone. Okay. And it's... Um, it, is doing, it's showing looking panorama. So it looks for the photospheres and panoramas that are already on the phone and that you view them uh, with the Google's, uh, this cardboard. So I can get out of here. And I know this is uh, not very uh, you, you gotta paint some word pictures, I gotta paint word pictures. Okay, so the Street View is actually an animation that's playing. It's in, okay. uh, I believe this is um, uh, Switzerland, no, uh, Vienna. Uh, okay. Is what it looks like. Based is it a on, famous street view? And it is one of those. It's, I'm, as, in my, as if I'm in the car and it's just driving through the streets uh, real fast. Is it like 3D? Time lapse. Um, it is stereoscopic to some extent. Uh, the frame rate is very low. It's about, about 5 FPS because it's just straight street view images. Yeah. It's as if you loaded the street view and just held down the forward button to go through. And you, the animation lasts about 20 seconds. Are you feeling motion sick yet? I'm actually feeling a little motion sick already. Mm. Um, That's not, I mean, you get motion sick pretty pretty quickly yes. though. Uh, if I launch, so there's no way right now for me to, in that street view app, to actually find our office. Uh, if I launch Google Earth, for example, um, it will load Google Earth, uh, and then still loading. Um, but what this demo actually proved is that you know, is does the resolution of your smartphone, a 1080p smartphone, is that sufficient enough? Like for example, the Oculus uses a 1080p smartphone or 1080p mm -hmm. smartphone uh, OLED screen, screen yeah. OLED screen. Like, is that sufficient enough for if the guts were here to run an office smartphone? And I think the answer, if the optics were better calibrated, is that yes. Well, and um, also the motion tracking and all that stuff is like is clearly the Nexus limited. 5's refresh rate and the rendering is not optimized for VR. I'm getting a lot of motion blur and shutter, mm -hmm. like in this Google Earth right now. I don't know if it's GPS based, but it looks like I'm. Oh, this is New York, so this is definitely not GPS based. But up at the top of some building, I'm looking at 3D rendered buildings like I would on Google Earth, and the buildings are being streamed in because it's loading basically the Google Earth. But as I look around, this is very dizzying. There's a lot of judder and a lot of blur. It turns out that those Oculus guys have been working on motion tracking for a reason. Yes, and the technology they've put in, it's not something that you can get in the smartphone. What so other demos do you have? You're getting, you're getting Google Cardboard marks on your face. All right, and then uh, a YouTube, should I watch a YouTube video? Why not? Okay, here goes launching a YouTube video. And it's popular today, it, it's launching just that same fucking cardboard intro video again. It's a pretty good video. Uh, that's all right. Can you, can you press the button? I'm, I'm, I, I think the button is my favorite part of this whole thing. Yeah, this is really clever. It's design. a really neat oh, button. Oh, whoa, okay. So it's a center screen, and it shows you popular today, but if I look around, it actually has like matrix style tiled um, Wait, so it's a virtual reality interface for YouTube? Yes, and as I'm uh, putting my, not the mouse, but the head over the thumbnails, for example, I'm looking at something called Pink Lips Teaser HD Video. This is very scandalous. You, oh, here goes a Doctor Who, a BBC. Uh, the thumbnail pops up, and I can actually access, and now the Doctor Who video is playing at the center. What happens if you say enhance? Enhance. Enhance. Nothing. No, nothing happens. That makes and it's, me it sad. is playing the YouTube video, and I can pause it, and I can resume it. So this is as a virtual reality interface for YouTube. This is cool. I'm, I'm, I don't know why they chose the popular now uh, category. It should have just um, gone straight to tested. It should have gone well. It, it should have gone to, to my YouTube account or something. Is there uh, anything else? Um, here's Guillermo del Toro telling me a special message about Pacific Rim. Spoiler: They're making a sequel. Yay! Uh, there was. What else you got in there? Okay. Any other apps? Are there any apps that use the camera? The camera is is notably visible You're from the right, back. You're right, right. Okay, you look like really, really lame when you do that, by the way. Um, tour guide. Let me launch tour guide. Uh, nope, tour guide is just another panorama. 
uh, stereoscopic panorama of a of, of palace and I'm in the gardens. F that. And YouTube, windy day, I bet. No, I don't think there is anything that uses the camera. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Maybe Ex there for future sensibility. Exhibit. Oh, Will exhibit's it? in there? No, not not a... Yo, dog? So this is a uh, showing me a 3D render of what looks like a, um, a African uh, bird. Uh, it's like a sculpture. Like it's a as if bird? I went to the uh, Africa exhibit of the Young Museum. Okay. And it's a 3D render of the object. And um, I can look around it by spinning my head around it. I wonder if I can take screenshots by using the capture button. Nope, that's changed to different. Now it's an African mask. And I can look below it. And I can look around behind it. And I can spin it around. So there is this axis of movement. Okay. And then here's the next one. This is very much like a, a view master for the next generation. I mean, it kind of like the, even down to the movement of the button, it looks very view master. It is a very, very novel use of cardboard, uh, of both cardboard and your smartphone. That's cool cardboard. You can buy kits from places like Dodo Case. Okay. Um, or you can just download the print, tape it to some cardboard, cut it out, and make your own. You don't need right. the lenses are the only catch. And people on the forums have already posted their best places to buy uh, lenses. Okay, there you uh, go. 40 millimeter lenses. Um, I'm a little motion sick right now. So Google Cardboard. Uh, you can download it now, I guess. Um, it's neat, maybe. I think it's, it's kind of neat, but I, it's, it's no Oculus. It's no Oculus. I'm not really surprised, Norm. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.